Holy schmoly is a new freaking Smash Bros. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. This is not a freaking port of Smash 4. This is a brand new freaking Smash game for the Switch. It's, oh, man. You, everybody's freaking out about it right now. They saw it at the end of the announcement. And you just now we're just mad that, you know, we didn't get any more information on it. It says it's coming out this year, apparently. So they have a lot to unveil, which hopefully they will do at E3. But this... Uh, being able to play a fully fledged HD Smash Brothers game on the go, which is going to be the best thing in the world. I mean, I mean, I kind of knew it was coming. I, you know, that was my candid reaction at the beginning of the video was just for, for lols. I don't know why. But honestly, I was like, they're really putting the inkling into the game. That's pretty damn cool. The, the inkling intro, you know. I thought it was just going to be, when they showed it, was going to be at the Smash 4 port with just a couple extra characters. Kind of like how Mario Kart 8 Deluxe worked. But it's it's a brand new game. I like in my head, I instantly knew it was going to be a brand new game as soon as I saw Breath of the Wild Link, and seeing that just shows that they're probably going to make some big changes for Smash Brothers in this game because Breath of the Wild Link will probably play nothing like Link has played in the past. Maybe a little bit more similarly, but we won't know entirely. And this, again, I'm going through my notes here. It's, it's the set. It said blah, 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 blah. the fact that it says it's coming out in 2018. For some reason, I don't believe it. But if I if they already are you know working on it really hard, then holy crap, 2018. Seeing a Smash Bros. game get announced the same year it will come out will be freaking insane. Because Brawl, it got announced in 2005, didn't come out till 2008. Smash 4 got announced, I think, a year and a half before it actually released, so that's exciting. I've heard rumors, not rumors, but I've heard some things on the internet where they said Sakurai was actually have been secretly working on the game for the past two years, ever since the final DLC, you know, rolled out for Smash 4, so it's pretty freaking exciting. And then the only questions I have now is... Who the hell's gonna be in the game? You know, how many characters from the previous Smash games are gonna stay? They better have, you know, they better keep all of the veterans from the first one, because, you know, they've always, all of those characters have been in there at the very least. But who's gonna stay? Who's gonna go? Hopefully no one will go. <laughs> at the very least, I expect maybe a third party character or so, a couple of them, may to not come back. Some might not make it, some might not be relevant anymore. So. You know, it's, it just raises tons and tons of questions like what what third-party characters are might make it into this version of the game We already had characters like Bayonetta, Cloud, Sonic the Hedgehog, Pac-Man, Mega Man So, you know, what, who who could come back? Maybe maybe Snake could come back? As much as we hate Konami now and how much they fucked up the, you know, Kojima thing I still wish we could have Snake back. He played pretty, you know, pretty well in Brawl and that's you know, saying a lot to me since, you know, I used to play Brawl a lot, but then I realized how much it's not as fun as I remember. But I want, you know, it would be cool to have more third-party characters like Snake come back. We could hopefully see a lot of new up-and-coming characters from second-party developers from Nintendo come up and maybe hopefully make it into the roster. But uh, moving next on my notes here, what if they change move sets? You know, we already see Breath of the Wild Link. We should probably already assume he's going to make a move set change and how he'll play so anybody who plays as link all the time will probably feel sad because maybe they can't hone their skills on this new game anymore but seeing that link in there you know new fresh ideas a lot of movements in fact i probably plan on making a video on how they could incorporate some move sets on that and i'll probably post that after this but i mean moving on to my notes here what kind of you know gameplay style will they adapt to because we found the perfect balance in a way of Smash 4 where we still have like the floaty dodges we don't have the movement dodges like melee but will they be gutsy and maybe bring it back we don't know we have no information on this and it just keeps rising up all these questions uh, will they reincorporate Smash Run or will they do something new or reincorporate like an adventure mode and will they allow it to be all co-op I don't know uh, nobody knows that's just all speculation and we just hope we can get more and more and more and more features so yeah, all those I'm excited, you know, all I, have to, all I have to say is I'm excited to play a fully fledged sm HD Smash on the go, which it's, I can't wait. And the fact that it's apparently coming out this year, though, I highly doubt it. It's, it's mind boggling. 
you know, they, they probably ramped up to production because they sh they've seen that the switch is selling like crazy. So they're like, yeah, we got to get this done and we're going to hire more people and get this working and done. So I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm excited for it. I knew it existed. I know I'm late compared to everybody else talking about it. So that's just because I have work. I have a life. You know, I don't do YouTube for a living. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this kept your hype up and be stay tuned for probably of a couple videos on how they might chase, change move sets for a couple characters. So other than that, Zeno is out.